Thank you, Carol. Uh, congratulations to the committee, and welcome, everybody. Let's pick up the energy, folks. This is a great day today, and go Giants, right? Um, so uh, I always look forward to welcoming each and every one of you to the, these sessions because it's really important work that the committee is doing, that all of you are doing. It's especially important today because not only do we have the farmer's market out there that you can enjoy and participate, but also I hope you take advantage of visiting the main library here. We too are sort of pushing the envelope uh, in technology and innovation in the future. Uh, our mix, the, our teen digital media lab on the second floor is really going like gangbusters with a lot of wonderful things happening there. On the fifth floor we have what we call the Bridge at Maine, which is our literacy and learning center that we also have created to really focus on serving communities of need, particularly when it comes to literacy, to technology access, um, the whole makerspace movement is so important, so I hope you take advantage of that. I do want to say that the work that your committee is doing, uh, the PLP Staff Development Committee, uh, is extremely important. And what happens here, this is not, lo not like Las Vegas, what happens here should not stay here. You really should make it a point of sharing the information because I've always believed that the talent pool in the Bay Area, Bay Area libraries, is phenomenal. And some of the most innovative, creative programs and services transcend our region and go on beyond uh, our, our places so that other parts of the nation can benefit from what we're doing. I really think it's important too that you bring in voices and perspective from the outside, from other industries that are sort of raising the bar in terms of how we're addressing uh, communities. I think the work today uh, in particular is important because when we think of communities, uh, many folks tell me that public libraries know how to build communities. But I think that now we're kind of in a different environment of trailblazing online communities, knowing how to link these communities and to be inclusive. We can't forget the fact that one of our core values is inclusivity. So whenever we talk about technology and about online communities, I hope we don't forget that there's still segments of the community that are not connected, that we have to find ways to be really, really creative. I'm very proud of the work that uh, our own staff is doing. Uh, just recently, we've established a Future of the Library Forum. And I would offer that every single library system should have thought leaders within your libraries that push the envelope on innovation and positioning your organizations towards the future. This group of 30 uh, staff members are our creative uh, leaders that are gonna help us look uh, for the, towards the future in terms of facilities, in terms of technology, in terms of service models and the organization itself. Uh, and to relate to what you're doing today, community. How do we look at our communities three years, five years down the road to make sure that the libraries continue to be relevant? So I wish you all the best today. Have a wonderful, exciting day. And again, congratulations to the great committee. I'm very proud of Michelle Hampton, uh, one of our own that's part of your leadership team. So with that, welcome to San Francisco Public Library. Thank you.